Hey friends, it's Holly from Chic Antique and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. This piece was a huge fail for me. I'm not going to be refinishing it and I'm going to explain exactly why. What I do as a furniture artist is take really damaged pieces of furniture and paint them and fix them up so that they can have another chance at life and hopefully keep them out of the landfills. But sometimes a piece just isn't salvageable. It's just too far gone and you can't save it. And that really sucks, but that's just the reality. So I won't be refinishing this. I'm gonna tell you exactly why, so stay tuned. Here is the dresser. From here, it mostly just looks beat up and scratched and scraped. But as we get closer, I'll show you that this piece is a lot worse than it looks. Just off the bat, you can see here, not only is the varnish or top coat peeling off, but the stain is actually coming off with it, which I've only seen a handful of times. Usually just the varnish will come up, but the stain is coming up with it too, which shows how damaged this has been. Also, there's a dark water stain here. So you can see not only this major damage there's a small crack here and just it is covered in dings throughout then we go to this side here obviously somebody has taken a pen or a key or something probably a kid did this and scraped all these marks into it which if I stripped this back I could probably seal up with wood filler and then sand down, but like all of this stuff, it all just adds up to be a big pile of things that I need to do. Moving on to the left side, I'm not sure what kind of tape was on here, but it removed the entire finish. I don't know how it did that. But luckily there's no stickiness left over, so that's good. But I would have to fill this or sand the entirety of the finish off to get everything to be smooth because there are divots here. And then the rest of the piece, just on the side, it has a ton of scrapes and gouges. And again, the finish is coming right off. I can just peel it off, which is not good. And then probably chalk, which isn't a big deal, but another thing. And then moving on to the front, as you can see, they have these really cute round knobs, which actually is going to be the only thing I'm going to be keeping on this. I'm going to take these off and keep them and strip them and hopefully use them for a different piece because I haven't seen spherical knobs like this before, so I do want to keep them for a future project. So we'll start with the top drawer. All of the drawers, I will say, are really hard to pull in and out. So just right off the bat, you can see there are a lot of stains. Even back here, it looks like this may be mold and there is a stickiness to it, which I do not like. And I would have to figure out how to remove that either with Goo Gone or something else, but generally would be annoying to do. And then, so they made this stupid repair. It looks like the front has come off. I forgot what the name of this stuff is called, but it's like glue and it foams up and this is what they secured it with and if you notice they put the front back on upside down this is the bottom of the drawer you may think this is the top but confirmation if you go through here this is where the drawer bottom sits and this also holds it in place so this gives you confirmation that it is indeed upside down which is a really stupid mistake because you can see this is where the drawer bottom goes. And this is not supposed to go on top and this piece. So this is all indication that they really didn't do a good job repairing this. You can see how bad it slides. It is quite bad. And then on this drawer, second one, we have a crack here. Not a big deal, but just adds to the laundry list. You can see every drawer has the finish peeling off. Looks like they had tape here that they ripped off. It is so bad. The finish is just cracking. See, I can just peel it right off. It's so bad. 
So when the factory finishes failing like this, you need to strip it off so that your paint can last. Otherwise, it will just peel off with the finish. Second drawer, not terrible condition, but you can see here it is sagging. This is where it's supposed to line up. I don't know why it's sagging, but I think that is also making it harder to slide. I just do not like that sound. And then we have a crack here. It comes all the way through and you can actually see through it from this side. And the dovetails are starting to come apart. You can see we have gapping here. Sorry about the kids, I apologize for that, but that's what happens when you film outside. So we have gapping here, which could be probably fixed with glue, but you can see it really is, is a lot of gapping. And then the same on this side, we have gapping as well. And that's pretty much the same for all of the drawers. Last thing for this drawer I forgot to mention. So I'm gonna pull it out and you can see that there is a divot here from the drawer sliding in and out, which could be causing worse scraping, but there's not really an efficient way to fix this. You could put wood filler here, but it's probably just gonna keep getting ground down. And then the drawer guide here could be nailed in. Again, just another problem. So we shall move on to drawer three. This one squeaks really bad. I cut it out so that you wouldn't hear it because it is terrible. Again, we have a sticky residue and lots of dust. It's dirty. And like the other drawers, we do have significant gapping on the dovetails, both sides. And on the left side, we do have a crack. I'm gonna take this one out too because we do have another divot on this drawer. When I pulled it out, I noticed from the drawer sliding in and out, you can see it is no longer level because it has been scraping. And we have a slight divot here too. Again, these have kind of become warped. I think that's why they are coming apart from the side here. So you could try to nail these in, but I do think that they're warped. So they're not gonna line up perfectly ever again. And finally, the last drawer. Same problems as before, we do have gapping on each side. And it's much more significant on this side, you can see. It is very bad. There we go. It really is coming apart. From here, I can take a guess that the front did come off and they tried to fix it. I guess that because this is supposed to go on the underside. This side is supposed to be flipped over and this glues the drawer bottom to this. This is not supposed to be inside the drawer. So another bad repair. You can see this one is very bowed as well. Uh, just a couple more things. Again, the railings are coming away from the side. We have divots here from the drawer grinding down over the years. Same on this side. We also have a nail plug missing here, which isn't a big deal, but just another thing to add to the list. And then the last issue we have here is the drawer sags. And I wasn't sure what the cause was until I actually took the drawer out. So, on this side, you see, this is how it's supposed to look. The drawer side comes below the drawer bottom here. And on this side, this is where it sags. So the piece that is supposed to overhang here, the drawer side, it is gone. I do not know how they ripped this off or it busted. Clearly, you can see by all this damage that they did not treat this correctly and they really beat this up. So here, this piece is missing and this is what's causing the drawer to sag. And this I cannot fix because it was broken off. If I put another piece there, it's just gonna break off again like the first piece. And very, very last thing I promise, I forgot. So they tried to fix this dovetail gapping issue by putting nails in here, 
which is not the correct approach. You do need to put the dovetails back in and glue them really well. And usually that will keep them secure. But if that doesn't work, you should never put nails on the front side. That is not a good idea. And so there is the dresser. Stay tuned for my final thoughts. So if you made it this far, I'll share my final thoughts. I am really bummed that this piece didn't work out for me, but don't worry, I'm not gonna be taking this to the dump. That's not where this belongs. I think that a refinisher or a woodworker would be able to use this as scrap wood, cutting it up into pieces and using it that way. As a dresser, it's just not salvageable. There's too many pieces that need repaired, need fixed, or can't be fixed, but I think it does have potential to be used in a different way. So I am going to be putting this up on Facebook Marketplace for free to hopefully see if somebody can use this and recycle it. I'm not going to be throwing this out. I did have a whole plan for this dresser, which is pretty disappointing. I had a certain look in mind. I even got a furniture transfer, which I've never used before. So I was going to try a new technique on this, but sadly it didn't work out. And I hope I don't get any mean comments about refinishing this. At the end of the day, this was my piece that I got. I know what kind of work I can produce and I know what my limits are. And what this required was past my limits and it was gonna take too much time based on my skill set. Maybe somebody who has a greater skill set could have fixed this, but for me, it just wasn't worth the time and I didn't see a possibility of it getting to a good enough condition to be able to resell. I'm not confident that I would feel good about selling this. Even with all the repairs that I could do, I don't think it would be ethical to sell this for a profit in the state that it would be even after all the repairs required. It's important for me to save things from the landfill and do the best that I can, but I also need to know my worth, know what my time is worth, and understand what my skills can get me and what I can produce. All that to say, if you are a furniture refinisher, painter, restorer, refurbisher, upcycler, your time is valuable. And even though you want to save a piece, if it's not possible within a certain time frame or with your skill set, move on. It's okay to give a piece away if somebody else can use it for something else. It's not the end of the world and that's really what I learned from this. I know my worth and I know my skill set and this just didn't work out for me and that's okay. So I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you'll leave me a nice comment down below. Please don't criticize me for this. This is me being honest and transparent with you guys. This was my honest experience and I wanted to share it with you. So I appreciate you watching. If you are new here and you like this content, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. That way you're notified every time I post. And I thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate your guys' support and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.